Hi, I'm Mike with PLX Devices. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the DM200 OBD2 in a 1997 Ford F-150. Follow me. Okay, here is your display module. Pretty simple, and this is your OBD2 cable that comes with it. Obviously, it's hardwired in. This is how simple it is to set up the DM200 OBD2. This is your cable that connects to your gauge. Plug it into your HDD. Simple. This is the key fob. Now this is important. It controls the gauge. It controls everything on the gauge. USB cable on one end, key fob on the other. Next we have our cigarette lighter adapter. Very useful. You can hardwire this into your system if you want to, but I suggest for quickness plug one end in Take the other end, plug it into your cigarette lighter. Next, we take your, your OBD2 cable and we plug it in to your OBD2 port. Well, that's it. We're completed. All we have to do now is start up the vehicle. Fire up the vehicle. Once the vehicle fires up, you'll notice that it'll start scanning for your OBD2. And as you can see, we already have RPM. With the OBD2, you can actually scan 52 sensor modules on your ECU. Everything from throttle, RPM, mile per hour, engine load, timing, airflow, AIT, water temp. You can take any one of these gauges and turn them into a single format. What I mean by that is once you grab one of the gauges that you want to keep an eye on, um, whether it be water, RPM, or throttle position, you can take it and move it into any gauge format that you like. Um, we have a custom gauge, just a fun gauge. You can do it in a four parameter, so you can take any four off your ECU and move it in here. Now a lot of people ask about wideband. Um, most vehicles don't come with wideband. This vehicle obviously doesn't. You can always add one of PLX's sensor modules, uh, SMAFR wideband, to the, your actual DM display module. Uh, it holds up to 32 sensor modules. So essentially you have 52 from your ECU and then another 32, 84 sensor modules on one gauge. Amazing. As you can tell, here's your RPM. Let me give it a little fuel so you know that it's operating. And that pretty much is a complete setup on the DM200 OBD2. Simple, huh?